Coach, you have taught me a lot in two years of urban analysis, and, I'm, and I know you've taught the audience a lot. This is one of the most interesting things that you've ever taught me. I look forward to you teaching our audience. Well, th this is high, high-end execution by Indiana. The Wolverine secondary in the last couple of years has really been struggling in man coverage. So Don Brown, the defense coordinator for the Wolverines, changed things up. Now he wants to bring pressure and play zone behind it. The Wolverines rush five people. That means they're blitzing. That's a right. pressure. Okay. And whenever you pressure, you play either man coverage behind it or you play zone. If you play zone, the issue is there's going to be voided zones, which means there's going to be people wide open. This is great for the viewer to know this. When a D coordinator calls a five-man pressure, he's counting on pressure within two seconds. So you're going to see the Wolverines rush five people. Got it. As a result, you're short in coverage. They're going to play two deep, and there's four underneath. There's four underneath, but there's six zones. Right. So you have six zones. Two zones are going to be wide open. So the execution of the play, the throw and the catch, is not what the hard thing is. That's the interesting thing. The hard thing is the offense line's got to block five for five. There's no room for error. And the defensive coordinator is counting on pressure within two seconds. And how do you get that? You either have a Chase Young, a fantastic one-on-one -on -one nightmare for an opponent, or you twist. And you're going to see right here, Jerry, the interior, they do a, a twist. And this is excellent execution by the offensive line. So it's a five-man pressure. You can look at the two offensive tackles right. are doing excellent. Right. Look at this right tackle. My gosh. What a great looking player he is. Look at the left tackle. There's no pressure. They're handling their business. Inside, let's create issue. You have an athletic quarterback, let's twist so he can't scramble. But you're going to see this is called a three man bump. The right guard's taught he's going to block 96. Right. 96 is going to go on a twist. So what's he do? He gets depth and he looks inside. And then it's a three man bump. So the left guard is going to bump all the way to number 96. Right. That's a three man bump. That's very difficult to do. Now here, to me, is the well-coached part of this whole thing. The right guard is taught. We need to create a throwing lane for the quarterback. Right. So once contact's made, watch him accelerate wow. his feet. Wow. He clears the throwing lane. That's, that's called, unbelievable. That's called swiping the throwing lane. Clear the throwing lane for the quarterback. That, that's a sign of a really good football team when you see that kind of stuff. Well, I'm really fired up over the uh, offensive line play. I, I, really noticed. Want, I really want to take the viewer to the board and show them exactly what happened on this play. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. So here's exactly what happened on the play. This guy runs a bender. He's the one that catches the ball. He's going to run to the flat. He runs across. You can see there's only two zone coverage defenders in the middle of the field. Right. There's four zones. So there's two zones wide open. You have a safety deep, a corner and a flat, corner and flat, and safety deep. That's two fire. Cover two, fire zone, five-man pressure. So the execution of throwing the ball is completed here for a big play. The guy's wide open. That's not the, the key. The key is, once again, did the offensive line give the quarterback for Indiana time to throw right. and catch? And they did. Here's how they did that. On the outside, you have defensive ends rushing. The offensive tackles do a great job. I was really impressed by this offensive line play. Here is where. So let's create some conflict for the offensive line. How do we do that? If you have a Chase Young, you isolate and let him go. If you don't, then you create some kind of twist inside right, right. so they have to bump it off. That's exactly what the Wolverines do. So the Mike Lanebacker penetrates the A-gap. The three technique, defensive tackle, penetrates the A-gap. And the backside three technique or defensive tackle loops all the way around. Here's the coaching. The offensive guard gets depth, he sets, the guy starts to move, he throws right. down onto the mic. So he blocks the mic. The center bumps off to the next guy because the guard started a three-man bump. He bumps off to the tackle, and the center bumps the left guard off to the outside guy. The best part of the whole day was this guy swipes it. He comes down hard. You can see him accelerate his leg drive. It creates a wide-open throwing lane for the quarterback to execute that throw and catch. This right here, that's what made the play. This is as well done as I've seen in a while. Those guys did a heck of a job, the offensive line for Indiana.